This video is all about FGA's flue gas analyzers. I needed a new FGA, so I've done quite a bit of research on the different FGAs out there. I've stuck with the four main big brands, so Testo, Kane, Anton, and TPI. So in this video, you're gonna learn all about these FGAs. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna talk you through the price, can it connect to apps, the different features of these um, FGAs, the warranty. Not everything is 100% accurate, but it's more than enough to give you the information so you can choose the right FGA for you. In regards to prices for these FGAs, I've gone to one website and I've got all the prices of these FGAs all off this one website. You may be able to get the FGAs cheaper if you speak to your local rep or use your, your local um, your supplier, but at least you can use the prices I give you as a guideline. I will list uh, all contact numbers and details of different reps and different phone numbers for the different manufacturers in the description box below. Before I proceed, if I've missed anything in this video or, or if I get anything wrong in this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more content. Okay, so let's start off with the Testo. Now, Testo are known to be, you know, the most expensive. This is what I've always thought about whenever when I got into the gas game, the Testo was the most expensive. Uh, but I always thought that they were the best in the game. And I still hold that view right now. They are the most expensive, and in my opinion, they are the best in the game. Let's go through uh, the basics first. So the purging time of the Testos is 30 seconds. Again, that's that's great. So you wait 30 seconds before you need to use the for flu, flu gases. Um, calibration costs. So for year one, two, four, and five, it's 120 pound plus VAT, and for year three, it's 159 pound plus VAT. Now, the warranty on these testos, in my opinion, is is very bad. You only get two years. So you only get two years warranty on these testos. Now, for being the best in the game, they're not very confident, are they? So let's start off with the best in the game, their best one, their flagship model. This is the Testo 300. Now the Testo 300, you can, you've got live view on your phone, so you can connect it to an app on your phone. You can create PDF documents with it. You can do the basics, you can do pressure, you can do tightness. Um, the best thing about this FGA is the fact that it's touchscreen and you can link other devices to this Testo, the actual FGA itself. So you can test pressure on a meter, you can test uh, temperature differential, you can get all these running at the same time and see it on the display of the Testo. So this is why, in my opinion, this is the best one. Uh, and then you can create PDF documents and email it to yourself with everything together. So this is the flagship model, and this one here will set you back 863 pound plus VAT. No, that's including VAT. So all the prices I give are including VAT. So 863 pound, which includes VAT. Now, if you can't afford that, and you don't want the best Testo out there, you can go for the Testo 327. Now this one here is 526 pound. The only difference here is you cannot connect it to an app. So you cannot connect this one to an app. So it's more of a uh, traditional FGA. I don't think it's touchscreen and I don't think you can control it. Uh, you know, you can't touchscreen it on a, and you can't do that. Now, the one below that is the Testo 310. Now the Testo 310 is their entry level um, FGA and it's roughly a hundred pound less. So this one here is 426 pound. It can do, the, it, in my opinion, it can do the same stuff as the 327 but again this is the cheapest one that testo do okay so now we've done the testos let's move to kane now kane kane are good fgas they're solid fgas the best thing about canes is their warranty kane give you 10 years warranty on their fgas opposed to testos two years yeah that's a massive thing so when i ran kane what they said was if you their warranty is so good that 
say you send your FGA back with your probe or your printer or something like that and they find that it's, it's, it's not working or it's, or it's faulty, they'll just replace it. Or they'll, or they'll fix your actual printer or whatever it is. They'll just straight replace it or fix it. Your 10-year warranty covers everything, essentially. That's the best thing, in my opinion, about Kane. Now, uh, let's move on to the other stuff with Kane. Uh, so let's go on to calibration charges. Their calibration charges are the most expensive. This is probably why they replace everything. So for the first one, two, three, four years, yeah, first four years, it's £140 plus VAT. How about that? And for the fifth year, yeah, now this is why I've left Kane. Yeah, this is why I'm moving away from Kane. Their fifth year is £210 plus VAT. And by the way, it goes up every year. So every year that price will keep going up. Now, if you don't want it to go up, what they do, they have this thing called a service plan. I believe you pay 500 pound or so, 500 pound plus VAT, and that then keeps it at that range. So you know there's no unexpected hidden costs. You know it's gonna cost, for them first four years, 140 plus, and for the fifth year, it's gonna cost you X amount, which is 210 pound. But you have to pay that fee, that additional fee of 500 and whatever pound. So. I don't know if that makes it worse or if it makes it better, but if you're one of them guys that just want to know how much they're paying, that's what you're, you're, you're going you're gonna to go for. So the purging on the test uh, on the canes are 60 seconds. I'm not sure if you can go lower than 30. You may be able to, but it's 60 seconds. It used to be 90. On the one that I got, 455, it was 90. So 60 is a lot better. Okay, so let's start off with the cane 458. It's their flagship model. So their flagship model does everything that a normal FGA does. Plus, you can connect it to an app. You can create PDFs, pressure, tightness. So all the basic stuff, yeah? All the goodies. The other advantage of the the their best brand, the 458, it connects to... Uh, it's got a thing called Wireless Link, which allows you to connect to other cane devices, such as their pressure... The, the temperature clamps similar to the test though but i don't think you can see the information of these on the fga itself i think that it connects to your app only yeah so all these instruments connect to your app and then you can create a pdf and that's what you can get with the the, the cane 458 so the cane 458 is 850 pound including that 850 pound yeah so that's their flagship model Let's move over to the 358. The 358 is 712 pound. So the Kane 358 is for everybody who wants the same things as the 458, but you're not bothered about the wireless connectivity. You don't care about connecting it to the other instruments that they have. That would be the one for you because it's about 100 pound, 100 pound, 140 pound less than their flagship model. And then the one they have underneath that, because the Kane 358, while we're still on that, it does everything that the 458 does. It just doesn't connect, allow you to connect to other instruments. Now, if you move on to the, the 258, the 258 is their basic entry model. So the, the thing with the 258, the things you can't do with the 258, you can't connect it to an app, and you can't do pressure or you can't do tightness. You can only do fluid gases on that one there but you can connect it to an app. So all the canes you can connect to an app, but again, the, the, the premium one, the 458, you can do everything. The 358, you can't connect to the wireless stuff. And the 258, you can't do pressure and you can't connect to the, the wireless stuff. Now, all of these FGAs have a wireless option. So if for any reason, you wanted to connect your FGA now to other instruments, you pay them an extra £90 and you can connect to the other instruments. But if you take it into consideration, they're all about £100 cheaper. So it makes sense just to get the higher model. Okay, so let's move on to Anton. Yeah, so Anton now, um, 60 second purge, standard 60 second purge. You've got calibration costs so first one two three and four years is 109 pound plus the vat and on the fifth day fifth year actually it's a hundred it's 208 pound plus the vat 
So with the flagship model, with the Antons, you can do everything. So you can connect to an app, you can do PDF, you can do tightness, you can do pressures, uh, you can do all of that. But I don't believe you can do a live view on the Antons. I may be wrong, but I don't believe you can do a live view on your app on the Anton. You literally just see it on the actual device and the app allows you to convert the figures to a PDF document. Yeah. So if you're one of them guys that want to see it on your app live view, I don't think you can do that on an Anton. I believe you can do that with the Testo, with the Kane, but I don't believe you can do that with the Anton. Now, the the Anton, the flagship Anton is the Anton Pro 3. The Anton Pro 3 is £600. And one of the biggest things with Anton that none of the other FGAs do, you can actually do leak detection with the Antons. So if you want to do use it as a sniffer, you can. So if you buy the Anton Pro 3, you will get the sniffer, the Pro, in the pack and you can use it as a sniffer. But you can't record the results. It's literally, I believe, just a beep and then maybe a gauge which shows, shows you that there's a leak there. But you can't create PDF reports for the gas leaks. Let's let's move down now and let's go to the Anton Pro 2. The Anton Pro 2 is 500 pound. It's literally 100 pound cheaper than their flagship model. Uh, the difference on this one, it does everything that the, the, the Pro 3 does, but you cannot connect it to an app and you can't create PDFs, obviously, if you can't connect it to an app. Their most basic model is the Anton Pro 1. Now the Anton Pro 1, again, is 100 pound cheaper. It's 400 pound, but on this, FGA you can only do flue gas analysis that's all you can do you can't do no pressure you can't do no testing uh, tightness you you can't do anything with it except for just using it as a traditional FGA and for your flue gas flue gases so this is great for anybody who likes to use other instruments for the other stuff and just wants this for flue gases Anton Pro the Anton itself the whole brand comes with five years warranty which it's good. It's in the middle. Yeah. Testo a two, Kane a 10, Anton a five. Just as a side note for the Anton. So for, for the, with the Pro 3 and the Pro 2, both of them, you can use them as a sniffer. But with the Pro 3, you get the actual rod, which you use for sniffing. But with the Pro 2, you don't get the rod. You have to buy the rod separately and then you can use it as a sniffer. So let's move on to TPI. Now, TPI, I've always thought that they were a budget brand. Uh, and I believe that they were initially. Um, but I think they have improved massively now. So, uh, let's let's talk about calibration costs. I believe that the calibration costs for the first five years are £110 plus VAT. So, if you look at all of them, I believe that only Anton are slightly cheaper by a pound, I believe. So, they're, they're, they're quite reasonable when it comes to that. Warranty five years purging it's 30 seconds for the purge so let's talk about the tpi flagship model which is the 711 the 711 you can do you've got an app you've got a live view you can create pdfs you can do pressure and you can do a tightness on it this one here has a screen it is slightly bulkier i believe than uh, the normal fgas the normal FGAs are like horizontal, but this one is vertical, yeah? No, the normal ones are vertical, this one is horizontal, so you hold it kind of sideways, where the others, you kind of hold it, yeah? So uh, that's the difference with this, this FGA compared to the other FGAs. So price-wise, it is £682. So if you compare that with all the other FGAs, it comes in towards the lower end of the market still but it, it performs and it does everything that all the other fgas do okay it doesn't do a leak detection and it also doesn't have a touch screen display you know a color display and but what you can do is you can connect all the tpi instruments to the app yeah similar to the cane you can connect all the tpi instruments to the app i don't believe it will show up on the screen itself Again, it will give you a live view so you can check uh, pressures, your temperature differentials, do it all together on the app. Uh, and then you can create a report, send it to yourself. I believe you can do geotagging so you can, you know, 
So if you want proof that you're in this place and that was related to that one boiler, you can you can allow it to uh, put your location on the report as well. So now let's talk about the one just under the 711. It's the 710. Yeah, the 710 is 430 pound. So it's considerably cheaper. You're talking 100, what, 150 pound or so cheaper than their flagship model. The biggest difference is there's no screen on this FGA. I know it's crazy, right? But you can connect it to an app and, you know, as long as you connect to an app, you can see everything. It does everything that the 7-Eleven does, but you can't connect it. You can't, it has no screen. And also the other thing it cannot do, it cannot do a tightness test. It doesn't have the timer function. So you can do pressure, but it doesn't have a timer. So if you want to use it as a tightness, you've got to pull out your own stopwatch to do it. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know, but, but if you want the cheapest FGA, but with smart functions, this is the one for you. And I, I presume it's a bit more robust because it doesn't have a screen. It's probably got less buttons. It's less bulkier. It's smaller than the 7-Eleven. So if you're after, you know, something with smart controls, but you want something cheap, you're not bothered about a display. This is the one for you. And then they also have the TPI 709R. I believe that's their old model that I used to know from years ago. I believe that's near enough the same price as the 710. But again, that's like an entry model now. That's their older version. Um, it's got a screen on it. It's just a traditional uh, FGA, but you cannot connect it to an app. I hope this video is useful for you guys. I literally created a chart with all these different figures and I thought I'd share it with you guys because I don't think there was anything like this on the net anywhere. If you know anybody that would benefit from this video, please share. If you liked it, like the video. If you didn't like it, don't like it. You know, tick the dislike button. It doesn't, you know, any feedback is great feedback. Let me know which analyzer you guys, guys have chosen. If I got anything wrong in this video, let me know in the comments below. Again, this is not 100% accurate, this video. Prices could change, you know, inflation and stuff like that. But again, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will let you know in the next video what FGA I chose. So keep posted.